Our final presenter is the Peabody and Emmy-winning co-anchor of the news magazine, Aki Iaora, co-anchor of the nightly newscast Noticiero Univision, and a past Emmy Lifetime Achievement honoree. Please welcome Maria Elena Salinas. Good evening, it's great to be on the stage again. Congratulations to all the winners so far. To those of you who get to take home this beautiful statuette and those who were lucky enough to have been nominated. You're all winners, we're all winners. And I'm very happy to be here today representing Univision News and Spanish language media. I'm very proud of my team in Aquilla Ora who had five nominations and of course of my colleagues in Primer Impacto and Noticiero Univision. And I'm flattered to be presenting the following category. There's a saying in Spanish that says, Dicen que los últimos serán los primeros. And loosely translated, it means that the last shall be the first. And that's exactly what the Academy is doing with closing with this, this category, the best of the best. They say that those of us who are in the news business do it for two reasons. Because we are crazy masochists who thrive on the pressure of deadlines and not having a life or because we are passionate about denouncing corruption and injustice, seeking the truth and telling stories that make a difference. I actually think it's all of the above. Even though all the entries are Emmy worthy, these awards go to those whom the Academy believes went above and beyond the rest. The nominees for the best of the best for best story in a regularly scheduled newscast are ABC World News Tonight with David Muir and Nightline. Shooting in South Carolina. The death of Walter Scott. ABC. CBS Sunday Morning. Coming home. CBS. CBS Sunday Morning. Water, water. CBS. NBC Nightly News with Lester Holt. Meltdown. Battle at the top of the world. NBC. NBC Nightly News with Lester Holt. Trail of Tears, NBC. And the Emmy goes to, trying to not rip the envelope because I'm sure you want to take it with you, whoever won. Water, water, CBS, Sunday morning, CBS. Accepting the Emmy, Sari Aviv, producer. With no indoor plumbing, what little water the family has inside is carried in, bucket by bucket, stored in plastic barrels outside. Do you feel sort of forgotten out here? Yes, for sure, yeah. The area's main source of drinking water is miles away, in the parking lot of the St. Bonaventure Indian Mission in the town of Thiru, New Mexico. Okay. Getting water here can mean a 100-mile round trip for some families. Thank you so much for recognizing this story. Um, first, I have to thank George McGraw at Dig Deep and Darlene Arviso, the water lady. They're the ones doing all the hard work delivering water to the Navajo, and they deserve all the awards. Uh, thanks to Lee Cowan, the best correspondent you could ever want to work with, and our incredible editor, David Small. And thank you to Rand and our seniors, Amy, Jason, and Gavin, for believing in us to tell stories like this. We're really lucky to be able to do it. And lastly, thanks to Charles Osgood, and congratulations on your amazing career.